Verstappen has just dropped a bombshell on Red Bull after the disappointing sixth finish place in the Italian Grand Prix, raising worries that Red Bull's Formula One crowns are slipping away. It now has even gone so far that Max Verstappen has cautioned that both championships are not realistic after Red Bull transformed its once dominant Formula One car into a monster. Even just getting the driver's championship will be a huge struggle. Verstappen struggled to qualify higher than seventh on Saturday and made little progress on Sunday, finishing one slot ahead of Mercedes driver George Russell. The Dutchman's victory margin was exceptionally harsh, with Ferrari's Charles Leclerc winning by about 38 seconds and championship rival Lando Norris finishing third by more than 30 seconds. With Oscar Piastri finishing second ahead of teammate Norris, McLaren has reduced Red Bull's constructors' lead to eight points. However, Verstappen's 62-point advantage over Norris in the driver's standings will not be enough either, as Red Bull has failed to find solutions to its severe car balance issues, which have plagued it since May, and are again resurfacing against much superior opposition. At the moment, both championships are not realistic, Verstappen admitted honestly. I've said a lot, and now it's up to the team to come with a lot of changes with the car because we basically went from a very dominant car to an undrivable car in the space of six to eight months. So that is very weird for me and we need to really turn the car upside down. With how we are at the moment, we are bad everywhere, so we need a lot of changes. When asked if pole sitter Norris missing out on a win was a silver lining, he replied, in a way, yes, but that's not how I like to look at the championship. We have to go from our own fortunes and today and this whole weekend has been very bad. We were too slow. The six second pit stop of course cost me a bit. I couldn't run full power for most of the race as well with the engine because we had a little issue. Also strategy wise, we could have done a better job to be at least a little bit more in the fight. We were weak on a lot of fronts this weekend. Red Bull conducted crucial discussions on Saturday to discuss the adjustments that must be made to the RB20 in the coming weeks with Verstappen believing he has nothing more to say after warning the team about his car's handling characteristics for several months. It was quite clear for everyone what we have to do, it's just now we have to turn it around, he explained. It's not easy to do that very quickly, and then if we can put that on the car, it becomes more drivable again. Last year we had a great car, which was the most dominant car ever, and we basically turned it into a monster, so we have to turn it around. It doesn't matter how many weeks it takes, we have to just keep pushing and work flat out, there's no excuse. One thing is certain, and that is that Max Verstappen does not want extra downforce added to the Red Bull RB20 for the 2024 Formula One season, if it makes the car harder to drive. According to Red Bull consultant Helmut Marko, the team would have to rebuild the RB20 at this point. Max Verstappen wants drivability, not downforce, from the Red Bull RB20. Verstappen has not won a race since the Spanish Grand Prix on June 23rd, his longest winless stretch since 2020, and his advantage over Lando Norris is down to 62 points with eight races remaining. Red Bull, however, is just eight points clear of McLaren and may lose the Constructors' Championship lead for the first time since May 2022 at next weekend's Azerbaijan Grand Prix in Baku. Since F1's ground effect regulations were implemented in 2022, teams have had the difficulty of boosting downforce to the car while keeping it inside a user-friendly window, with a trade-off to be made between enhancing overall performance and maintaining drivability. In his post-race Speedweek piece, Marco stated that Verstappen expressed his desire to Red Bull's engineers for the Italian GP weekend, pressing on a more compliant chassis with less downforce. Marco said, The main question now is, how do we go about rediscovering the good car balance from the first part of the season? Max Verstappen said in Monza that he doesn't need 20 points more downforce if it makes the car undrivable, so we have to rebuild and hopefully find the point at which the car was in balance. If we can do that, then the behavior of the car will become predictable again, the drivers will gain fresh confidence and will be able to contribute in an ideal way again. Of course, this is a difficult task because we've put a lot of new parts on the car since then. Put simply, we have to find out 
where we went wrong, technically. According to Helmut Marko, Red Bull is concerned that wind tunnel correlation may be their primary issue. Red Bull was persistently behind the pace in Italy, missing the necessary speed in qualification and race day to compete at the front. McLaren maintained their status as the standard, but Ferrari's improvements pushed them into the mix. In addition to their increasing pace, the reigning champions must confront the RB20's attributes. Max Verstappen's feedback about his car is unchanged, with the team unable to rectify long-standing issues. Helmut Marko argues that Red Bull might be the source of their problem. We have turned a racing car that dominated the first few races into a more or less unpredictable and very difficult car to drive, he said, and we have to put an end to that. We explain such fluctuations in performance within a few minutes by saying that we have created a car that reacts extremely sensitively to the smallest changes. Be it the outside temperature or a different tyre compound or less fuel on board, and then the good vehicle balance is gone again. We also believe that comparing the findings from the wind tunnel and the racetrack is also part of the problem. Another problem that occurred during the season and might have had a big influence on the current car was the power struggle within the team at the start of the season. At least, that's how Helmut Marko sees it. It's clear that this doesn't help, but ultimately, this is not directly related to our technical problems, but to the departure of important people. If certain employees want to change and get a good offer or see a new opportunity, then they will take it. This team's modest mid-season progress is not unprecedented. Last season, Red Bull made virtually little development, but their big lead meant this was disregarded. With three other teams solidly in front, failing to make major progress becomes increasingly expensive. Helmut Marko, like Christian Horner, has stated that Red Bull is working on its difficulties. However, recognizing an issue is not the same as addressing it, with improvements unlikely to come until the American GP in Kota, almost a month after the Singapore GP, Red Bull has two months to provide Verstappen with a car capable of holding his championship lead, if there still is a big lead to hold by then, but Marco hopes to have answers by then, especially after the midweek tyre test, after the Monza GP. We have a tyre test with Liam Lawson in Monza, and at the same time our people will analyse where we should make adjustments. We have to find the point at which we took a wrong turn during development. We already have a few conclusive findings. Now we have to implement the corresponding technical changes quickly so that the car has the right balance again. The next two races on the street circuits in Baku and Singapore are of little significance in this respect. Austin will show whether we can achieve the turnaround. And if this won't happen, well then they have a big problem on their hands, not just for 2024 but also for 2025. As this will certainly make Verstappen think about his future, but according to Helmut Marko, he'll still be there in 2025, despite the many warning signs. Next year, he'll be driving for Red Bull Racing. However, for 2026, things seem to lay wide open. Ma, that's so far away. Now our full focus is on the 2024 World Championship. Could we see a switch to Aston Martin or Mercedes happening soon? Or, Will Red Bull be able to turn this around, snatching the titles once again and solidifying the relationship with Verstappen once again? What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below.